I'm sitting in my classroom the day after my 10th year of teaching. It's weird to be at school after the year ends, after the kids are gone. This, this is a place for them, and for them not to be here, it feels so empty and, and just weird. Uh, I can't stop thinking about the teachers that are retiring. We had two teachers in our school, Miss Allen and Miss Brayo, who had their last day with students yesterday. And they gave so much of their life to this profession, so much of their life to Parma and the village and the students that inhabit this town. And I feel so thankful that I got a chance to, to teach with them, that I got a chance to know them a little bit. I'm just thankful that the kids in the village had them. Uh, I had kids in my classroom that had both of them and they loved those teachers. They loved going back and visiting them. They loved telling stories about them. And the thing that I love most about Miss Allen and Miss Braille and is that they just kept getting better. They kept wanting to do what was best for kids. They kept learning, they kept growing, and they kept a great attitude. And I hope that I can be a teacher like that. I hope that I will continue to grow and continue to wanna to learn and continue to do what's best for kids. I know that a lot of teachers are retiring. It's that time of the year, and I just thank all of you for, for all that you gave to this profession, all that you gave to kids. The world is a better place because of you. I promise that I will take what you did, what you started, and continue to, to try to make this world a better place. Thank you so much for giving your life to kids. You're an amazing person. All of you teachers that retired, thank you. And for us that are still going, Let's keep getting better. Let's, let's get a little recharged this summer. Let's get a little refreshed, but let's also make sure we find time to learn, time to grow. Um, the kids deserve that. Thanks for watching, everyone.